Hi, and welcome to Campaign Trackly. This is Melina, and today I'm going to show you our latest features that will enable our Excel add-in to save you even more time and make it easier for you to create and manage your UTM tracking campaign links. As you can see, I have opened here a regular Excel file, and here we have some demo data because we are assuming that maybe your Excel spreadsheet might have additional information that you always need to keep in place. So you can put as many columns as you want, as long as you have these two important columns here, campaign name and URL, and none of the headers here are duplicates for these two columns. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to connect to the campaign trackly add-in by accessing it from your home menu here. I am already connected and I am already logged in. What it is going to be seen here is a drop-down which will have your drag and drop templates that you had saved on campaign trackly. If you're not seeing here any templates, this means you did not create drag and drop templates on the Campaign Trackly platform. So as soon as you create them, all you need to do is click here, click refresh, and we are going to populate them. Very simple. So the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to see here that there is a drop down option. It's automatic. So when I click it, it is going to show me all of my existing campaign names that I already created in my platform. Why is this significant? Because most of the time users have 30, 40 campaigns that they just have to add links to throughout the year. And by pulling a list of all of your pre-created campaigns, we make it easy for you because you didn't have to type. Uh, we remove the option for errors or typos, and it's very simple. You just click. If you, however, do not want to add links to an existing campaign, but you want to enter a new campaign, you can click this icon here. It says manually enter tags, and I can click this, and then I can delete, and then I can type whatever I want, right? This is very important also. So we give you two options to recap. Either you can pull from a dropdown, or you can type, let me see, 2023, 01, 17, this is a demo campaign. Then in the URL, I mean, it's simple. You can put whatever URLs you need, and I will just drag this down so that we can have the same campaign. Then the next step is to select your template. So if I select, for example, LinkedIn as my template, what you will see here is that we immediately pre-populate all of your custom metadata or tags. And this is really cool because that is the purpose of the Excel spreadsheet. It needs to make it easier for you, simpler for you, and eliminate the errors when typing. And we achieve that by just loading. Here you'll see a tab settings. We're loading for you automatically from your account all of your values for the custom tags associated with your templates here, LinkedIn. And by doing that, we just make it super easy for you so that you don't have to type things manually. And you can choose to select data if you want to change a value in the template, or you can just keep it empty if you just want to generate the link with the values that have been populated in your template. So it is very straightforward. It takes seconds. 
And then what you can do is you can just drag and drop and it will be populated for you. Depends on how you want to manage everything. If you want to enter different values, by all means, this setup enables you to enter different values. So for example, if I drag this here, this link can have engagement, this link can have reactivation, this link can have reach, etc. Or you can keep everything else the same. Here, for example, I don't want to enter any different values, so I am going to keep it empty. And when my link is being generated, the value that will be taken into consideration will be the original value, which I selected when I was saving the LinkedIn template. So as you can see, the success part cheat add-in is very, very versatile. Number one, it pulls all of your saved tag information in your campaign tracking account. B, it pulls all of your already created campaigns so you don't have to type each and every time. And number three, it allows you to look up your existing tags and decide if you're going to use the template as you saved it originally, or you want to add some variation in the tags, depending on what your links require. And then all you need to do is just hit apply template and give it a little bit of time. Because right now what we are doing is we are connecting to your campaign trackly account, we are writing in it, and also we are saving everything in the database. And you can decide to either replace the links you generated previously with the new ones, or to add the new ones as extra raws in your result sheet. This Excel spreadsheet add-in is meant to enable you to keep a history of all of the links that you have generated with us for a certain period of time. So my advice is use add links as new ROS. But of course, you can always replace uh, previous links, which means that all of your history is going to be deleted and every single time you're going to have a new list of links. And here you go. We have your custom data preserved, nothing has been done to it, nothing has been touched, as is the goal. This is your campaign name that I typed. These are your original links. What we are also doing here is for reference, we are keeping all of the values that you selected when you were generating your links, because we want to make sure that you are having a history for that. And then here is your brand new links that we generated. Here are the long links. And as you can see in the UTM campaign, 2023-0117 demo campaign, you have the value that I entered here in the very beginning. You can see that we also automatically generate for you a short link and even a QR code for that link so that you can use it. And of course, we also give you the date when this link was created. Very simple, very straightforward, and very easy. Additionally, if you need to generate your campaign name from some of your custom tags here, we also give you that opportunity. What we require though is that in our campaign trackly app, we ask you to go into your tag library and then you need to say, hey, I want to generate my friendly name and my UTM campaign tag from campaign channels in Geodata, for example. What this is going to do is this is going to tell the Excel add-in in the campaign name, make sure that you leverage the values for these two tags and then use them to generate the name of the campaign. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to refresh the Excel add-in then I'm going to 
remove this. I'm going to also remove this and I'm going to say manually enter tags and this is going to be test campaign from custom tags and I'm going to drag this here and I am going to select another template TikTok. As you can see It has business unit, campaign channels, geo, subject line targeting. Let me go back to campaign trackly. Campaign channels and geo are required tax because they are going to be generating our UTM campaign value. So what I'm going to do here is I am going to select the business unit and then I'm not going to enter any campaign channels. I'm just going to select geo EMEA, And then I'm not doing anything here because I want to generate the link using the original values of these tags that I had saved when creating the template. So I'm going to do apply template. And what's going to happen is here, you're gonna see a note which says, hey, these tags are required campaign channels. So essentially our Excel spreadsheet is not going to generate any links for you unless you meet the required information. And so I'm going to enter here organic social. And now I'm going to try to apply the template again. I'm going to be asked to select an option to continue. And I'm going to say, hey, add my links as new ROS and continue. And as you can see, I got my brand new information here. Very cool. My UTM campaign has organic dash social underscore EMEA, organic social APAC, organic social NAM, organic social China. Let's go back to the original here. And as you can see, my campaign channels are organic social. And then my geo is EMEA, APAC, NAM, and China. And this is what I can see in my link, right? Organic Social China, Organic Social NAM, Organic Social APAC, Organic Social EMEA. As you can see, this is a great and extremely versatile opportunity for you to generate links on the fly, to not worry about typos, to not worry about potentially forgetting required tags that need to be added to your links so that you can track critical information. Everything is very easy. You are operating out of an environment that you like, that you're accustomed to. Everybody knows how to use uh, an Excel spreadsheet. And hopefully it will save you a lot of time and make it very easy for you to start promoting your links. Thank you for watching. Appreciate your time. And as always, happy tracking.